Hi there, it's Jennifer, and today I wanted to talk about um, how I organize my makeup. Um, I have only recently gotten into using and trying different kinds of makeup. I've always been a person who wears makeup. Pretty much my whole adult life, I don't leave the house without makeup, rarely. Um, but anyway, so up until about a year and a half ago, I was just buying kits of makeup, something that would have um, a blush that goes with the foundation, that goes with an eyeshadow that comes with, and then probably the only thing I would go to the um, drugstore to buy on my own was mascara and eyeliner. And so everything kind of came, um, you know, together. And so I only had a few things. Um, but in the last year and a half, since I've been watching YouTube and getting uh, beauty subscription boxes, I have been opened up to the world of makeup. And so I've accumulated some things. I, I'm not horrible at having, you know, horribly huge stashes of extra stuff. I do have a shelf in a closet where I keep extras of the things I love, not stuff that I have never tried before. Those are just backups of stuff that I know I'm going to want. So if I find them on sale, um, I, I can um, buy extras of those things. But I'm not a person who has tons of stuff. I do, I have accumulated some things though. I think I have like five bronzers and six blushes and um, I have three big palettes of eyeshadows and then some small ones. Um, but anyway, so, so what I was using, okay, we moved into this house seven years ago. Of course, that was when I still wasn't using a lot of different kinds of makeup and didn't have a lot. So my hair is sticking out. Okay. Um, but this house we moved in doesn't have any drawers in the master bathroom. It has a closet and it has two big cabinets under each sink and that's it. It didn't even have medicine cabinets, so we installed some. But there are no drawers, and that's where I kept my makeup in before in my previous house. So I bought a train case, a makeup case, and it was it's about it was about this big, and opened up and had these little trays that kind of folded out, and that was really good for holding my makeup. So I would just put that on a shelf in the closet, pull that out when I wanted to use it. Well, the more stuff I got, the more. Um, I found certain things wouldn't fit, like an eyeshadow palette that was too long. And, um, and then also, the, the part on the bottom was just a, a catch-all area. And I was finding, I was digging through and finding things I hadn't used. And I found a, a mascara and thought, oh, I never used this. And opened it up, it was dried out. And so I figured what I needed was another train case. Not to... Um, not so I can get more makeup, <laughs> I hope that's not what happens, but really so I can see the makeup I have. And so, um, so I found one and I wanted to share that with you. So what I'm gonna do is show you a clip to, to see the um, makeup case I did have and the one I have now, which is quite a bit larger, but I'm so happy that I can see everything and it's all organized. So let me be quiet and we'll go ahead and show you. So now I want to show you the case now that it's all filled up. And it was so great because it holds everything and I can see everything. Because in my other one, everything was just kind of thrown to the bottom and a lot of my palettes couldn't be uh, fit into that little box. So let me go through each part here. This little section over here is where I have, um, well, here, if I close this. This section here has my um, eyeliners and, um, well, this is a little um, like brightening crayon kind of thing. So I have eyeliners and my eyeliner pencil sharpener there. And under the, then there's two more things under here. I kept some additional little small eyeshadows I don't use very much. Mascaras, a little sponge. Um, and then those are some eyelid primers. The next one down, I put some of my blushes, the ones I'm currently using. In the bottom here, well, let me switch over here. Um, this top one over here, I have um, all eyeshadows, and so it fits a couple of my palettes and a few of my single eyeshadows. This is what I'm really excited about. I have these three larger palettes, and this one I was thinking for sure was not gonna fit, but it does. And so this one fits two of my palettes and then I have 
another one here. In the bottom, where I was afraid that a bunch of stuff was just going to get kind of junked up, um, I put some little uh, cups that I had. If you watched my organizational video about um, organizing my, um, I organized a shelf in my coat closet where I um, was organizing hats and mittens and scarves and stuff and I bought these wine bottle gift box kind of things that they're tubes that um, I used for that and I took the lids off and saved those because I figured I would use them for something. So I took these little lids and put them in there. That's just an eyelash curler thing. And then I stacked some different things. This one has some extra eyeshadows. And rather than stacking them on top of each other, I stacked them kind of side by side so I could see them. Over here are several bronzers I have. And this in here is more blush. Um, there's a little cup that comes with this um, case. And I put some taller things in there, just a variety of things. And then I have another um, tube, kind of a blush and eyeshadow and my Guerlain um, light diffusing pearls. There, my powder is here. So um, I'm really excited about this because everything, everything fits. And not only does everything fit, I can actually see it all so nothing is buried. And that was the problem with my other case is that things were buried and then of course it couldn't, there was just no way I was going to fit in my, my bigger palettes. So I'm really excited about this. I'm going to have to, of course, use it because I just put this together today and I'll have to see how it goes. But I'm really excited about this box. Okay, so I have had that case for probably a month now. I'm really enjoying it. Every time I get it out of the closet, I think, oh my gosh, this is a huge case. But you know, it's, well, you can't even see here how big it is. It's, you know, it's good. It's a good size. I think they said it's 13 inches tall or something. But what I love is those um, trays that pull out. They're longer than the ones in my previous box, so my bigger eyeshadow palettes fit in there. And I love the whole thing of using those little cups in the bottom because my whole goal is to make sure that I can see every single thing I have. That is my commitment. If I um, the only thing I can't see really is I have two eyeshadow palettes stacked on top of each other, but I really can see the one that's under there. I don't want to forget about the stuff I have. I want to make sure that if I'm spending good money on something that I actually use it. So I'm really happy with this. I'm going to link the information about the case I got um, and maybe some other cases I found. Um, there are, this one was pretty pricey, but it had exactly what I wanted in it. Can you hear my dog snorting up there? She's a Boston Terrier, she's got like a smash face, so she, she's being very snorty. Um, anyway, I'll link some stuff over on my blog at busybeinggen.com. I'll put the link to the exact post um, down in the space down below so you can check that out. Um, so that's it, I thank you guys for watching. If you're not currently subscribed to my channel, just hit that button and YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is several times a week. So anyway, I hope I'll see you again, bye-bye.